Hello everyone. So today we would learn printing of patterns through for loops. So this is our question. We need to have this output. Now we can't have it like print one two three four five then backslash n then print two two three four five. This is very tedious, no? So we need to have something like we need to use for loop for this. Okay. So let me start with a simple for loop, right? Let me write here if I is in range if I is in range I is in range one two six one two six colon print print I and we need to end this with space so I will write end equal to space okay so if for I in range 1 to 6 it would print I let us run it okay I have got an error here so yes we have not initialized the value of I or here I have just wrote is extra is I don't need to write this for I in range 1 to 6 okay we don't need initializing because it is for loop so this is the advantage of using for loops in printing of patterns okay now now what if I cut the statement cut it okay and right here for for j in range for j in range 1 to 6 1 to 6 now I have if what if I have another loop here I need to indent it properly ok and now I need to have here j plus equal to 1 outside this loop but inside this loop ok so if we run it also we need to have a print statement here print statement outside the i loop print So first let us get the output. See for j in range 1 to 6. So first j would take 1. Okay. j would take 1 and it would uh, go to another loop. Okay. Now for i in 1 to 6 print i. So it would print from 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 ending with a space. Okay. This way. This way. Now as soon as this ends, this loop ends it would go to new line the loop would go to new line because this is a new line character outside this loop outside this loop okay and then the value of j would be incremented so let us run it yes we have got a 1 2 3 4 5 in a square matrix manner now what here we want is we want here 1 2 3 4 5 then 2 2 3 4 5 then 3 3 3 4 5 then 4 4 4 4 like this way okay so now let us observe what is happening okay in uh, first row first row j's value is 1 and i's value is incrementing 1 2 3 4 and 5 so it is printing i here ok now in second row j's value is 2 so j's value is 2 so here it is printing 2 so it is printing value of j here also it is printing value of j ok and then it is printing the value of i it is printing the value of i so up 
टिल i becomes greater than j up till i becomes greater than j it would print the value of j see even here it would print the value of j here it uh, i is equal to j and here i becomes greater than j okay so this is how the for loop would work so we need to have an if else statement in the loop okay so for i in range this now i need to cut it if i is greater than or equal to j if i is greater than equal to j then print if i is greater than equal to j then and only then print it i otherwise else else okay else print j else print j here okay so now let us run it see we have got our desired pattern here now let us have an another example of pattern okay so see this one let us print this pattern okay let us try printing it so here it uh, represents the a b c so here we need to have ascii values ascii values of uh, all these uh, letters okay we know that ascii value of a is 65 or else we can write here given Five, okay. So here, let us define ASCII value as sixty-five because the value of ASCII value of A is sixty-five. Okay. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven rows. Okay. So we need to have a for loop outside, and we need to have here for J in range. range 0 to 7 0 to 7 okay so we would have seven rows okay i just forgot to put semicolon then we have four four i in range see if i i is in range 0 to j plus 1 J plus one. So, if it is in first row, if it is in first row, so J's value is J's value is zero. So I would be in range zero to one. Okay. So I would print one, and then we would increment I. We would increment I. I plus equal to one. Okay. Then we would print increment I. So, so here. I plus one. So let us have here a print function. Print, print something, something. Let's say a, a star. A star. Okay. So whenever now for J in range this zero to seven. Okay. So now uh, whenever whenever I I would be less than J, it would print star. Otherwise. it would come out of the loop the loop would end so here i have forgot to put a colon and i need to indent it so 
also need to indent this one yes it's done now and also i need to put here end end equal to and equal to space okay and here i need to print 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 nothing so it would go to new line character and then i need to just increase my j okay so let us try running the code i think that's it looks good yes see we have got this triangle this pyramid in similar fashion like we want one character in first row two characters in second three characters in third four characters in fourth row five in fifth six in sixth and seven in seventh okay so we want this but we want here uh, we want here to print a b c and not star okay so we want here to print a character let's say c okay let's say c and we need to define here c equal to character character of a so now let us print the value let us try running the code okay here here we get a a a a a but we don't want a here we want a b c d e f okay so we need to increase increase the value increase the value of a so just after it prints it prints a i need to increase the value of a by 1 so i will write here plus equal to 1 okay i'll write here a plus equal to 1 now let us run the code and you can see we have got our desired pattern so this was all about patterns in python thank you for watching